hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to find the employee details between the given minimum and maximum salary using jQuery range slider bar when I select the range the maximum salary is 6000 plus and the minimum salary I am chosen 1993 when I search And here we got the output between these range. When I search, the minimum salary is 9000 plus and maximum salary is 13000 plus. Search, we got only Chetri got 10,000. Suppose The minimum salary is this much 21,000 plus and the maximum salary is 27 plus but but in our employee table the highest salary is 10,000 only so the output will be no records found when I search see no records found if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates In my previous video, I have showed how to create and add the jQuery UI range slider bar in ASP.NET web form page. And the values will be displayed in the text box control. When I move the maximum salary slide bar, notice the values are increasing. And here the minimum salary. Now in this part 2 video tutorial, with the help of this range slider, I want to find the employee details between the minimum salary and the maximum salary and the output of the employee details will be displayed on the grid view control. Let's open my visual studio and this is the code we have just seen the output on the browser. Now come to the bottom in the controls the text box control the read only property I am deleting that one I am adding the text mode is equals to number I'm copying the text mode property I'm adding to the maximum salary text box control after that below the table I'm adding one button control I'm changing the button ID to button search as well as the button text value search horizontal line now below the horizontal line I am adding one grid view control to display the records go to toolbox I am expanding the data grid view control now below the grid view control I am adding one label control to display the message when records are not found. Go to toolbox label control I am changing the label id to label message I am deleting the text label up to now we have just added the controls button control grid view and label now switch to the design mode, double click the search button, now here we got the button click even, the first thing I am adding the namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data.sql client, the last one I am adding using system configuration after adding these three namespaces now we can able the SQL server classes and methods in this web form page string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name go to solution explorer web.config file 
connection string name is siva n s t r s t r dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection i am creating the object for the sql connection and this sql connection takes a parameter of this main con object sql query which is a string is equals to now here the sql query is the select statement before writing the select statement to search the records let's open my sql server database we'll check the table and the column names i just connected to microsoft sql server management studio i'm expanding the databases and in this databases the sample db is my user database i'm expanding that one as well as the tables of the sample db database folder now in these tables i'm choosing the employee for this video tutorial let's browse the table right click select top 1000 rows And here we got the results of this employee table. Now let's switch back to the coding part. We'll find the employee detail between the given salary. Select start from the table name is dbo dot employee. Copy that one. Paste here. Where salary. between between single quotes plus plus copy this and now between plus i am adding the text box id of the minimum salary text minimum salary dot text dot trim method and here I'm adding the maximum salary of the text box ID, which is tax maximum salary dot text dot trim. After adding the SQL query, I'm adding SQL command. SQL com is equals to new SQL command, which takes two parameters. One is the SQL query. Copy and paste here. and the second object is and the second parameter is the sql connection this one sql con paste here sql con dot open method sql data adapter sda is equals to new sql data adapter which takes a parameter of the sql command data table dt is equals to new data table as you had dot fill i'm filling the data with the data table dt sql data reader sdr is equals to sql com dot execute reader method when the records are available between the given salary if sdr dot read method so i want to bind those records into a grid view control so grid view 1 which is a grid view control id data source is equals to dt grid view 1 dot data bind method label message dot text is equals to empty else if the records are not found i want to display the message in the label control label message dot text is equals to no records found
and I want to make the grid view control visible false. Grid view one dot visible is equals to false. And here the visible true, the grid view control. The last one I'm closing the SQL connection. Close method. That's it. We have done the coding part. Now it's time to check the results on the Google Chrome browser. Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code. And I select the range. The maximum salary is 6000 plus. And the minimum salary I'm choosing 1993. When I search. And here we got the output between these range. When I search, the minimum salary is 9000 plus and maximum salary is 13000 plus. Search. We got only Chetrika 10,000. Suppose. The minimum salary is this much, 21,000 plus, and the maximum salary is 27 plus. But, but in our employee table, the highest salary is 10,000 only. So the output will be no records found. When I search, see, no records found.